France, you say l'art dentaire. Dentistry is an art. And it is surrounded more and more today with digital technology, which is high tech. I'm afraid I'm a little bit biased, huh? but um, I must still say that in the field of implant dentistry, Europe, when you compare it to the US, this is really something which came from Europe. And in, although it really started in, primarily in Sweden, contemporary implant dentistry, uh, quite rapidly Switzerland, with the work of Schroeder and then also with all the companies which are now uh, located in Switzerland. I think we are an important part of implant dentistry today. They get much more information out of the internet. And they know today, or most patients know, that we can come up with quite spectacular illusions and, and treatments. And so their expectations are much higher today sometimes even non-realistic and that we need more time today to explain to the patients what is possible for them but clearly big difference when you compare it to 20 years ago. Some of the implant treatment gets so expensive that that opened markets to make it a little bit less expensive but we know the price that uh, theoretically the patient is paying for that. that the longevity cannot be comparable. So, <clears throat> but the signal is clear that we have to pay attention that implant dentistry still say, stays within reach of the average population. Fastest is not always best. Huh? So there is so many parameters which we have to consider. You, I just assisted to a uh, a session now which was alluding to risk assessment. So this becomes very important because in the center still is the patient which we don't want to harm and our objective in dental medicine is to promote and main or maintain or promote long-lasting oral function and then we, we try to, to always to use the most predictable, the least invasive uh, and the least risky solution. Now when it comes to predictions, there is an old saying, saying if you really want to make a fool out of yourself, make predictions. So I will be quite careful not to do that, but if you ask me what or how I envision dental medicine in the years to come, and part of it is, is already here, is in terms of providing the population with long-lasting oral function. That means primarily prevention. And this has always been here. I would love that prevention still is the major part of dental medicine. Biological thinking is the second part I want. And then embed it when we need to do treatments with high-tech, because high-tech will allow also less talented individuals to be performing. And this is, for me, the vision. I, I think we will soon have changed the, the image of dental medicine. We are attracting different people who want to become dentists because this is this joystick generation. They are passionate by, by high, uh, high, high tech. But if we can at the same moment insist on prevention and bio and this is not a contradiction i think you can fit these elements together and then we are very close to what always has been the goal in dental medicine